Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode is powered by Hayabusa. It's the best drill for you to improve your defense. All right, in today's episode, we're talking about my favorite way and what I think is the best way for you to improve your defense. Now, when we always train defense, we're always seeing someone being stationary. But in reality, fighting is all about movement. We're creating angles. We're creating art around the canvas. So we have to be able to defend moving forward and backwards and laterally as well. But today, we're going to really work on my favorite drill to work defense, and that's forward and backward line drills. Now, when you're a pressure fighter, you have to be pushing someone back. You don't push them back walking with your hands down. You could move your head, but ideally, you need to move them back. Now, if someone's very aggressive, they might be pushing you back, but you have to have the ability to defend your head in all directions. So let's get into how I teach this. Now, I'm going to start with, basically, I like to start with my head guard defense, but when you do this drill and you teach it at your gym, you can do it with single types of defense or you could mix and match. So a quick example. So I'm going to start here and with Abiel is going to come and he's going to throw a jab, a jab cross, a jab cross hook and a jab cross hook hook in that sequence. Why I like that sequence because it teaches you logical combination that someone's going to throw at you and it also teaches you straight to round defense, which is very important, right? Everybody's gonna throw maybe a cross hook, you have to defend straight and round. So, well, I'm gonna start with a head guard, and then I'm just gonna show you forward and backward. So, Abiel throws, I'm pushing him back. Okay, I'm using my head guard to catch, okay? So you gotta have the ability to move and catch as you're pushing someone back, okay? And then you can get more advanced, and then all of a sudden, he's a big power hitter, I need to move back. So I gotta practice my head guard, from a longer defense, boom, okay? That's one, high guard. Then I will get my guys to use the parry, and then the same concept. So I'm pressuring and evading using head guard, parries, and I could use pull counters as well. So now I use my parry, I'm pressuring him back with my parry, okay? See him coming in, I'm defending the hands as I go. So I'm pressing him at the same time, catching, and moving him back. Now he's getting aggressive. I'm gonna move back and use defense with my parries. Boom, okay? Now, as an MMA fighter, you might now use a little bit of a head movement. So I won't teach my fighters to use all head movement, but I might push here, boom, one here. I might go one, two, okay? I might go one, two, three. One, two, three, pull. Okay? So you mix and match. So I have the ability to defend and move my head. Now it can be backwards. Boom. One, two. Yeah. One, two, pull. Right? One, two, pull, roll. Right? So I'm moving, I'm mixing and matching. Once you've gotten the defense down, then we progress the drill, make it a little bit more advanced. Remember, we want to make this as fight realistic as possible. So now I'm able to control my distance with the different types of defense. Now what's going to happen is... I have to make sure, okay, I decide where my partner goes. I don't have to wait to the end of the line. So for example, if Abiel's throwing these combinations on me, I might want to move. And then now I might want to pressure, right? So I'm deciding where he goes, okay? I might jam the punch, I might move, right? And then I start moving, okay? So now I get to put my opponent or my partner where I want them to go. That starts making defense a little bit better. Think of Canelo Alvarez. He puts you wherever he wants with his pressure, his high garden. He'll evade, he, he presses. He's got the ability to do it all. Now, what I like to do from here, because we don't just want to defend, we have to make sure we're defending and putting ourselves in a great position to attack after. Now, if Abiel's throwing, say, a one-two, and I'm up here, I'm not in a good position to counter. So I have to be able to do this line drill with the ability to counter. So again, we'll start from here. I might defend counter, right? Boom, mix up different counter attacks, right? So I'm mixing things up. Boom, yep. Boom, I'm mixing in different counter shots. And then I might move backwards, right? I'm, I might move, boom, backwards fighting. Boom, attack. I could even come use my kicks at this time. Boom. All right, so now I'm building a counter. What you can do after this now, what's the final part of this drill, and this would be the most advanced application. Abiel attacks, okay, we'll do it nice and slow. He attacks, I defend, 
I counter. Boom. Now, I don't want to be lazy. Then Abiel's just going to throw a few punches to make sure I'm defensive. So I have to be able to punch and then defend my head. So he just whips punches. I either got to move or make sure my hand's up. So he starts with the jab. Boom. I counter. I defend my head. The one, two. Boom. I come and I counter. The three comes. Boom. I come back and I make sure my hand's up. The last one. Hook. Boom. Boom. Come back and I counter. Okay? So you're putting everything together and at the end, you've established the most important parts of defense is one, don't sit there and hide your head and shell up because that's the biggest problem. If someone's hitting you, you got to move your feet, but keep your hands up. If you're going forward and pressuring, how can you close the distance to be able to maybe clinch, to put them against the ropes? You have to have safe entries. And then you could add in hops, clinch entries, this can go forever, but the most important part is understanding pressure versus evading, being able to defend and counter, and then last but not least, to be able to defend, counter, and make sure your guard is up so you can move and stay safe, okay? A simple way to improve your defense that I think everybody can practice at all levels. I've started teaching this in my beginner class as well as my advanced class. You can do them with big gloves, small gloves, but just understand if you're doing it in a small MMA glove, maybe the pressure with the head guard might not be there. You might have to use different tactics, so it's important to practice pressure and evading with your defense. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you like and subscribe to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Make sure you support our channel by supporting our sponsors. First, we have Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight, the T3 boxing glove, as you always see in my videos. They're my personal favorite. Then we have Perfect Sports Nutrition using code Bazooka20, gets you 20% off your supplements. Make sure you check out their new diesel bars. I won't leave my house without a couple in my bag for quick protein and quick energy. Last but not least, bazookatraining.com, online curriculum taught by me, brand new videos every single week. We have home videos, bag work, pad work, sparring drills. I added a new concept as well where you're seeing me teach live here at Bazooka in my classes. So you get real life experience and drills from me like you're here. And the best part is only 10 bucks a month and you can get it anywhere in the world. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.